again, my fellow cell members. Uh, we have in the last few cells uh, been celebrating the anniversary of PEX and reflecting again on what cells are and how we evangelize. Um, and I'd like to uh, give my own reflection on uh, a little idea I have. Uh, and I'm gonna start it in true cell fashion by reflecting on what God has done for me recently and what I have done for God. And I want to relay something that happened at work where we have our employer supports uh, a Christian group uh, where we meet uh, occasionally, they provide us a room and they uh, give us uh, drinks uh, occasionally for which I'm very grateful and we don't take it for granted. But there's uh, a course for people exploring Christianity. Uh, and in one of the sessions, the, the leader uh, was uh, some kind of um, evangelical, I think. He was um, using the first uh, uh, Gospel of Luke, chapter two, verse 14, uh, uh, as to um, bring forth the idea of God's plan, of, plan for peace. Um, and it's a very famous verse. Uh, it is where the angels uh, sing uh, glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favours or peace uh, to those with whom he is pleased. And one of the people in the group uh, exploring Christianity asked the people with whom God is pleased. Is that Christians? And Inside, I kind of cringed a little, and on the one hand did, and or on the other, and the, the person leading the group straight away said yes. And that, that left uh, an impression on me, that never underestimate the strength of a, a, a firm answer. So it's made me think a little bit more about this verse, uh, and I want to think about it in, in the context of cells. Who are the people with whom God is well pleased? Um, and are there people with whom God is not pleased by implication? Um, and I think I and maybe other people find that um, slightly uncomfortable. Maybe we analogize with human beings, you know, when there are always people who their favor seems maybe slightly arbitrary, um, you know, teachers at school or parents uh, when we were young, their, their favor seemed, you know, uh, arbitrary sometimes and now we're grown-ups uh, it doesn't really feel much different maybe uh, people we work with or our spouses uh, their favor tends to <laughs> uh, not always uh, uh, be what we might uh, understand but for God what does it mean to be well pleased you know, and in the in as Catholics we have a we're used to a, a, a slightly different translation which comes from the Vulgate uh, where uh, the, the translation is, and peace to uh, people of goodwill. Uh, and that seems a slightly different translation to me. Uh, and maybe uh, makes me feel a little e uh, easier with the idea of I have goodwill. But then looking at this, trans uh, this translation, it seems to me, and, you know, just even grammatically in, in, the, in the Latin, uh, men, he, people is a plural word, and the Goodwill is singular, and, uh, so it makes it's become clear to me. I think that it's not my goodwill uh, that the angels are praising; uh, it's God's goodwill. The goodwill is God's. So, how as people do we uh, uh, have God's goodwill? Uh, and you know, that's as, as Christians we would think of as um, participating in God's goodwill through our baptism. Uh, and that's absolutely fundamental to uh, our salvation. But I think in this case, in, in the angels proclaiming glory to God in the highest and on earth peace uh, among those he favours, this is uh, the other end of Jesus' life before uh, baptism uh, is available. So this phrase, uh, those who, with whom he's pleased, how can we understand it more? And I think Luke gives us uh, a clue in the next chapter where we hear the phrase again, uh, Jesus' baptism uh, in the Jordan, uh, when the, the voice, the father says, 
This is my son with whom I am well pleased. And why would he be well pleased with Jesus? He's, he's the second person of the Trinity has proceeded from the Father, uh, you know, since the beginning. Um, why would he say uh, he's well pleased at this moment? And I think it's because Jesus, in being baptized in the Jordan, uh, in baptism of John, uh, is aligning himself with uh, Israel's um, uh, turning towards uh, God, the uh, the people of God, uh, um, uh, reflecting and converting towards uh, God, not with outward marks of being the people of God, but you know what Paul would call the circumcision of the heart, uh, and I think this is what uh, we could take from this phrase, the people of goodwill, that I think no one can be a Christian alone. We're, we're Christians in the people of God. So how do we draw people uh, in to, to God's favour, uh, into to what we do? Well, in cells, for example, I think we kind of talk about this more than we realise. We finish every cell meeting where we pray that uh, Thy will be done. This is the, that word will. It's the same word in people of goodwill. And at the beginning of every cell meeting, we reflect on what God has done for me and what I have done for God. So I think this idea of being people of goodwill is uh, we can uh, we, we, we can uh, opt into it. We can align ourselves with God's will uh, and uh, cooperate uh, with God. And I think in this context of cells, that's uh, what it means. And I'd like to make um, a bold analogy. And this is a personal one, so feel free to reject it uh, or um, uh, uh, even send back to the cell leaders how I'm talking rubbish. But just as the baptism that John offered was a baptism of water, and it wasn't a baptism of salvation, but it was uh, a, a, a baptism that reflected a desire to uh, uh, live in the goodwill of, of God. And I would like to see cells uh, as a way of drawing people in to God's goodwill. Not the only way, obviously, and not sufficient for our salvation. I, the baptism of the Holy Spirit, but uh, a chance for us uh, to uh, live as Christians and to invite others as Christians uh, into this uh, fellowship with the people of God. So please do reflect on that uh, in yourselves. Uh, I uh, hope after the summer meeting, it's the last one uh, before the summer, I hope you all have restful uh, and uh, blessed summers, uh, whether you go away or, or stay uh, at home. And we will see you uh, all again uh, in September, uh, where we can try and um, bring our, our friends and our family into this uh, goodwill of God. God bless you.